those are those are the uh, face covering of the Tuareg and the Fulani, the turban and the face veil. Uh, and these these white people are the white Berbers today in North Africa. Intermarried Fulani Tuareg, black nomad with Spanish. Here come the Vikings. Let's just kill them all. Let's just go and kill them all. Vikings. I'm just gonna go and kill and eat their food, huh? Of course, they have to portray the Muslims as weak in, in, in movies. The Moors as weak. It was probably not this easy, but okay. Yeah, you wanna pagan, you wanna convert to Islam? Ah, look! <laughs> look at the look at this Fulani Tuareg man with his white Berber wife, huh? That is why Fulani and Tuareg and many of these black nomads have the R1B uh, haplogroup in their DNA. It's from the Moorish time, huh? Um, <laughs> Stop for a That's gonna come back to you one day. They gonna kill the Berber woman? Ah, stop the lazing! Burning hell, you kafir! The black boy. Just kill my people like nothing, huh? It's gonna come back to you. Rabban Allah Hamd. During these times, most of those would have been black. More meant black, but you would have also mixed. But most of them would have been black. Alhamdulillahi <laughs> 
We're going to get this back one day, inshallah. We are going to get this back one day, inshallah. Look at that Sinhaja. وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده Can this mushrik go out of the masjid when they are praying? Can this mushrik go out of the masjid when they are praying? not gonna happen in reality in reality they would take their swords and, okay. and kill you but okay what are you doing Civilized Moorish Spain. Civilized Moorish Spain. Black Muslims. Yep. the Viking defeats him easily in this movie. That was not that easy in, in reality. <laughs> Look at these pagans going into the house of Allah. Look at these pagans entering the, the masjid of Allah. What kind of place is this? Allahu Akbar. It's a temple. Yeah, right. You have 100 Mujahideen praying. They're just gonna allow a bunch of white people going in there with swords. <laughs> in reality, the Moors would have chopped off their heads if they even entered the village. But okay, this is fiction. Where are their cuts? I can't see any. And yet they're praying with such passion. I hate that noise. Yeah! No, stop! You're, you're just gonna chop off the head of the Imam when he's praying and nobody's gonna do anything. You see the psychological warfare here. The intention is to make... Uh, Muslims weak, feminized, as if Muslims are not going to fight back. These Vikings are not even going to enter the village. The Moors would stand with swords waiting for them at the shore. Let alone the masjid. You enter the masjid, they are going to draw their swords and they are going to continue praying when your heads are chopped off. But okay, this is Western stuff. They always want to portray Muslims as submissive surrendering to the white man but muslims don't surrender to the white man that's why they don't like islam that's why they don't like philistine because the philistinians don't surrender to the israelis right now in gaza no no more killing you're standing in front of the imam move don't stand in the way don't stand in front of people when they are you mushrik move Stand on the side, don't stand in, in between the man who is praying. You're not allowed to stand in front of someone who is praying, but anyway, uh, it's fiction. It's an interesting scene. <laughs>